Sometimes when starting a real strategy by selling a cash secure put, it just goes wrong. Have you ever had a failed option trade like this? An option wheel strategy is a powerful money making technique that combines two separate and opposite option trading activities. Selling cash secure put options and then selling covered call options. Now, the uniqueness of the wheel strategy is that the output from the first technique is used as the input to the second technique, and then the output from that second technique goes back and is used as the input to the first technique. Now, this output to input cycle can continue over and over again, with the option trader making money on each iteration. With the money making potential of this strategy, it's easy to see why I use this as part of my weekly and monthly trading activities. But like all things, sometimes even the most perfect plans can go wrong. Let me start from the beginning. So last month on August 11th, I decided to start an option wheel strategy by selling a cash secured put. Now after conducting some research and analysis, I decided to use shares of Scorpion Tanker, ticker symbol STNG. Now if you're following along, here are the details of my particular option trade. Now I had picked an expiration date of September 17th, so this was roughly a one month option contract. And I had selected a $15 strike price, which at the time was paying $1.15 per share in premium. Here's the video screen capture from my smartphone, where you can see that I actually sold a cash secured put for the option that I just described. Now feel free to rewind this video and play it back in slow motion so that you can verify the details. But at the end of the transaction, you can see that, that my sell order was filled and I received the $115 premium payment. So I'm off to a great start for this option wheel strategy. So for my option wheel strategy, I'm off to a great start. I just completed step one and I was able to sell a cash secured put. Now step number two will happen on the expiration date and hopefully my option finishes in the money, at which point the buyer of my option will exercise the option contract and I'll get assigned the shares. And then at that point, I can move on to step three and that's selling a covered call. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's take a look at what happened on the expiration date. Here's a daily chart for stock symbol STNG. I'm going to focus in on the expiration date of September 17th of 2021. And just as a quick reminder, the strike price for my cash gear put option contract was $15. So on the expiration date, this stock closed at $16.08, which is above my strike price. So this option finished out of the money. And the option contract expired worthless. So the funds that were reserved as my collateral are released back to me and I get to keep all of the premium that I received. Now let's go back to the checklist and check my results for step number two. Well, that first portion, my option finished out of the money, and then as a result, I didn't get the shares assigned to me. So step number two was a big failure, <coughs> which means I don't even get to move on to step number three. Because the option contract expired worthless, I didn't get the shares assigned. But as a small consolation, I did get to keep the full premium of $115. Wait a second, what was that again? That's 100% true. The money that I collected as the premium payment for selling the cash secure put in the first place is mine to keep forever. So that raises the question, what's my return on my investment? In order to calculate my ROI, we'll need to look at a couple of the numbers. First, I was able to sell a cash secure put because I reserved $1,500 as collateral in case the option was exercised and the shares got assigned to me. Next, I received $115 for the premium paid to me in return for selling the cash secured put. So that means my return on investment is 7.6% for selling an option contract that was a little bit over one month long. For this wheel strategy, even though I wasn't able to run through a cycle of selling a cash secure put and then turning around and selling a covered call, it's still considered a wheel strategy because sometimes option contracts expire worthless during the process. But as you can see, I still ended up making a profit. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon where I share exclusive videos of my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course, all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad-free. There's one last thing before I end this video. Now, making profits and generating an income from option trading is a great thing, but keep in mind that all gains made from trading are considered income and are subject to applicable tax considerations. So every month, I save a portion of the profits that I earned in order to pay for my federal and state taxes. So please consult with your CPA, licensed financial advisor, and or tax preparer regarding the tax liabilities for your unique situation. 
I took the information and experience that I shared in my 150 videos from a YouTube channel and created a course to help people sell their first covered call. You can get free access to my course by visiting my website, coveredcallincomegeneration.com.